Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining us for the segment, we have Wim Swaldins. He is the Chief Architect over at Kisly. We're going to discuss the future of live events and live streaming. It is great to have you with us on Trade Talks. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And tell us more about Kisly and what the vision is. Okay, Kisly is a streaming company, but what makes us special is we're an interactive streaming company. What it means is that when you watch a stream, you get a feeling that you are part of the event. You belong to the event. So we make end users matter as part of the large event that we do. And in a way, we sort of pioneer something we like to call two-way streaming. It's not just about bringing the event, the support, or the music to the users, but how do you bring the users at home back to the event and create an interactive experience? How did COVID impact the business? The beginning of COVID was bad because all sports and music were canceled, but then business actually grew tremendously because we had so many sports events that didn't have physical attendees. So all of a sudden the remote attendees were the only attendees and we were able to sort of make them feel like they're part of the event and also make the musicians and the athletes feel like there's literally millions of people watching them through this interactive streaming experience. And it sounds like that is here to stay. Yes, absolutely. So now with sort of the COVID, at least the COVID provisions over, what content organizers have realized whether it's sport or music is that home people matter i mean yeah. there might be a hundred thousand people attending the super bowl but there's a hundred million people watching them at home and so making them part of the event is now the standard it's sort of everything is becoming hybrid and by paying attention to the end users making them feel like they matter and they can participate they can share they can sh uh, sh uh, share selfies and be part of the event they will stay longer they will spend more time they will, they will buy more merchandise. And right. there is a tremendous sort of business opportunity around engaging the remote fans. Which is great for the user as well, because not everyone can afford to go to the Super Bowl or, exactly. or fly and get tickets exactly. here. It's not, it's not cheap to attend a live event. Yes. So how does a product work? Okay, so what we do is actually not that different from attending a physical event. When you attend a physical event, what do you do? You clap, you cheer, you cheer on the, the athletes. We do that virtually, we do that remotely. What else do you do? You socialize, you go with your friends, you meet new people, you chat, you engage. We do that virtually. And then what else do you do? You take selfies. Right. You wanna show to everybody that you're there. So we allow you to do that. And also we then bring those selfies, we make fan walls and we project them in the arena so that the band who sometimes is performing in front of an empty stage or the athletes like in the Olympics who were at an, at an empty arena can literally see the faces of people. They can see the map of where people are cheering and he creates that interactive experience. That, that sounds super cool. And I understand that Kisley has broken a Guinness World Record. Yes, together with BTS, which is one of our customers, we did the largest uh, online virtual concert during the pandemic with well over a million people participating from all over the world. What's next for Kisley? Well, this is an industry trend now. I mean, engaging fans, you see lots of people doing it. I mean, the sports teams, I mean, US figure skating is doing it. Manchester uh, City is doing it. The Olympics did pretty uh, innovative stuff with fan walls and cheer wrap. So you see the industry is moving in this direction. So we continue to grow, we continue to engage. We just did a huge Queen concert just a few days I ago. did, I saw that online. Still yeah. available for replay if yeah. you want to see it. That was sort of mind, mind, mind blowing. And we're going to continue to, I mean, uh, uh, be the leader and the innovator and in this space, both for music and for sports. And to wrap up here, it feels like the future is here now with all the exciting things you Absolutely. have going on. But w what does it look like beyond that when it comes to events and live streaming? Well, I think we're going to see a lot of this virtual world mm -hmm. where physical fans engage and remote fans engage. And we create this new opportunity where literally at a large scale, at a high quality and high intensity, you could sort of unite people around particular events and create that belonging feeling. Yeah, I mean, it's great for the artists as well. It's another way for Absolutely. them to engage with their fan base. Yes. All right, when we appreciate the insight. Thanks for joining Thank us on you. Trade Talks, and thanks for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.